In this screencast, I'm going to demonstrate how fill and stroke is used in uh, Inkscape to change the appearance of objects. So we'll just take a simple object, we'll hit the square tool, click and drag to create an object. Now we will hit the selection tool, making sure that object is selected. And then from the menus, we can do um, object, fill and stroke, which brings up this dialog box. You'll be using this a lot in Inkscape. Uh, what this does is um, it changes the fill and stroke, so among other things. So if we have a regular object like this, this has a fill and a stroke. The fill is what fills the inside of the shape, and the stroke is what outlines the shape. It, each of these has a tab, so fill has its own tab, stroke has another tab. So to change the fill, uh, we'll leave it here as a flat color, and then we have different ways of choosing colors. So we might choose uh, based on a color wheel, or an RGB value, or a hue, saturation, and lightness value, um, even CMYK. For now, we'll just pick a color just to show you. As we change the color here, you'll see the color of the shape change. Now, the stroke. Right now, uh, we can also turn off the fill, actually. So there's nothing there. Okay, so we'll keep the fill on, certain color. Um, if we switch to the stroke tab, um, the stroke paint tab, you'll see that right now it's off, no paint. Again, we could change it to a flat color, and now you'll see this black edging, this line or outline around the shape. So we can change the color of that outline. It's a bit hard to see, um, but we can change the color of that outline as well. Okay. The third tab here is called the Stroke Style. The Stroke Style lets you change the width of the outline. So if we wanted to up this to, you know, 25 pixels, we can do it that way. Okay. We can also change the units. Usually I work in pixels, and, but you can work in different units. The other items on this, I won't go into all of them, but um, you can change how the corners are rendered. So these would be square corners, rounded corners, or chamfered corners. You can see the difference here as I change those buttons. Okay? And you can change how the ends of lines are, but we won't go into that for now. So um, other concepts for stroke and fill. Um, the other concept is transparency. So we can actually, using the fill and stroke dialog box, you can change the transparency or opacity of different objects. So if we take our object we've just created and we want to change the overall opacity of this object, there's a slider at the bottom here, opacity, and we can drag that down. You'll see how it becomes more and more transparent. If you go full left to zero, that's fully transparent. Fully opaque is 100. Now, that slider adjusts both the stroke and the tab, or the stroke and the fill. Um, here, if we, again, as you switch these tabs, you'll see these two don't change. This is outside of that. So, um, what if we wanted to change the uh, opacity of just the fill or just the stroke? Then, how we can do that is by using this uh, slider value down here, this alpha value. Okay, so if we go to the fill, we've set it at a certain color. Let's put a nice blue in there. Now, if we want to make keep the stroke the same, but just change the transparency of the fill, we can drag this value. Okay, and you'll see it from fully opaque, 255, down to zero fully transparent. Okay, and likewise, when you go to the stroke paint tab, you still have this slider. You can change the opacity of the stroke. You can go fully opaque or transparent. And you'll also notice here that the stroke on these objects is centered on the edge of the fill. Keep that in mind when you're creating objects um, that that's how the stroke works. Okay? Uh, this is a pretty basic tutorial. The only thing is that a lot of people um, when they're starting with Inkscape, sometimes they'll get confused and uh, they'll set a color here 
and because of the settings that they've you know, pre previously worked with, they may check the opacity up here and see, hey, it's you know fully opaque. If we go to the, f let's turn off the stroke, uh, so we only have fill here. Sometimes what will happen is this slider will be to the left, and you'll see that you know there's no fill. You'll be changing the color of this object, and there's nothing showing up. People will say, oh, the opacity slider is at full. Something is wrong. The first thing to check is this alpha slider as well. It's easy to forget. And that's it. Just very basic uh, fill and stroke. Thank you for watching.